These monsters have been outside for way too long causing chaos, so now it's time to put them in jail and imprison them for life. So here's where the story begins. It wasn't too long ago that I decided to build a brand new Minecraft world. And inside of that world, I built an awesome jungle temple. But I have a problem. In this awesome world I built, the mobs are running crazy. They've completely taken over every single biome. They've even taken over villages and are driving the villagers crazy. Run for your life! Nowhere is safe. They're even in the ocean. And if that isn't bad enough, there's a huge dragon guarding the end world. And there's an even more dangerous monster, the Warden, guarding the old ancient cities. So to do something about this, the villagers have come together and made a decision. It's time for someone to take the law into their own hands. They're offering iron, gold, diamonds, and even netherite to capture these monsters. And that's where I come in. I decided I'm going to be a hero and save the day. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to build the dungeon to lock all these monsters in. And that's going to require me to gather these materials and these blocks. So that way I can build the dungeon that they can never escape from. And it's a good thing I have this super high producing iron farm, where iron golems spawn and are instantly transported to the nether for farming. The way this iron farm works is I AFK there, go through the portal here, and then I end up on the other side where I fly to the iron farm collection area. The iron golems fall through the portal into the lava and are destroyed, leaving me with a ton of iron. And with that iron, I can build iron bars and iron doors. I can also use it to build chains for my prisoners. The next thing on my list is levers, which will open and close all the iron doors. And I should have plenty of materials to build those. That cobblestone and these sticks will provide the recipe I need. Now I need some name tags, so wake up villager, I gotta do some trades with you to get some name tags. Next I need some wood for the nether, so let me grab my netherite axe. I was trying to do a cool flying montage, but then I hit my head and messed it all up. So anyways, here's the biome we're looking for that's going to give us warped wood. I might as well grab crimson wood too so we have both. <gasps> Ow, my leg! Oh, you freaking pig! And with these planks from the nether and these sticks, I have the ingredients to make the signs I need. And now I gotta go on an adventure to find a cave full of lots of glow squids. And they're gonna be at the bottom of these deep caves that have water in them. And to get what I need, I gotta go down and assault them. Plus, in caves you find diamonds. And hopefully more glow squids. And more diamonds! This is a pretty good cave so far. There seems to be plenty of what we need. God, freaking die already, squid! Oh, get away! Hiya! Take this, you worthless glow squids! Ooh, right in the kisser. Dang, this little waterfall has infinite glow squids. Guess I'll just keep chopping them down. And that should be plenty, so it's back to the nether we go to get some soul sand for our torches. And while I'm here, I'm gonna collect a ton of soul sand with this efficiency five shovel that will get me all that I need so that way I have infinite sand. And that should be plenty, so let's get this coal and some sticks and we'll turn it into soul torches. And if we get some iron nuggets, we could even make some soul lanterns. Now let's grab some shears and grab some cobwebs. Then grab some torches and grab some buckets. Then fill those buckets up with lots of lava. The last thing we need are the stones to build the actual dungeon at us. So let's grab those while we got them. Using the cutter to cut some chiseled stone brick and we're all set. And now we have all the materials we need and all the building blocks we need. So let's switch gears into building mode. Being that the theme for this world is jungle and I have a jungle temple and a jungle biome, I thought I'd make this dungeon the same way. So I used the mossy stone blocks to fit in with my temple and the other small buildings I've built. I made sure to put a ton of bars in this dungeon so the monsters could never escape. And I made an individual cell for each monster with their name on it. Each cell is built just for prisoners. It has a little bit of water in this cauldron and a rock hard bed to sleep on, and that's it. 
And now that the dungeon's built, the only thing left to do is go gather up the prisoners. Most of these mobs aren't smart enough to know they're being captured. So all I have to do is lead them into their cell and then lock the door behind them. And then they're my prisoner. Easy. Oh, my, oh God. Okay. Phew. I missed it. And that's my first prisoner captured. Next up is the spider, which I had to build a special cell for because they're so wide and fat that they can't fit through a small door. There was a drown right by the river and he just followed me right into his prison cell. It's almost like he wanted to be in jail. Oh wait, never mind, he's resisting. Prisoner captured. Now we got the creeper following us. This one might be a little bit tricky though because if you get too close they could explode. So I don't know how I'm gonna get around him in the cell to get out of there while locking him in. Maybe I'll just break out of the back and then that way I could trap him in and then run around and shut the door. Oh no, he blocked me. Oh my God, please don't blow up. Here, let me get far enough and then we'll circle around and see if we can't lead him back in. All right, creeper, come this way and let's get you back in that cell. Actually, this might work better because then I can go out the front and lock it and then he'll be stuck in there. Is he following me? Where is he? Oh, okay. He doesn't want to follow me. Okay. All right, now he's following me. All right, lock the door, lock the door. Now I gotta hurry and go to the back. Ow! And then, and then block it up so he doesn't get out of the back. All right, that actually works. Now we got a creeper as a prisoner. Now to find a pillager, I'm gonna have to fly around until I find a pillager outpost. Hey, these are the first cherry blossoms I've seen ever in my world. I'm gonna collect some of these flowers and then some of these saplings, that way I can take them home and build my own cherry blossom forest. But I gotta keep looking for a pillager outpost so I can put them in jail. Hey, there's one. Let's go capture some prisoners. And I'm actually really far from home, so I'm going to use this boat to speed up the process and get him to his jail cell. I just got to get rid of his friends trying to rescue him. And look, all these mobs are mad that I put their friends in jail too, so they want a piece of me also. Sorry dudes, but if you do the crime, you do the time, and your buddies are not getting free. Alright, get rid of all the mobs, and then jump in the boat, that way we can get this prisoner home. Alright, there we go. And I don't care how many arrows this guy tries to shoot at me in the boat, I'm not stopping till we get all the way home. And I have a feeling he's about as dumb as the rest, and he'll follow me right into his own jail cell. Watch, all I gotta do is stand right here, and he'll walk right in. Now just come in a little bit closer so I can shut the door behind you. Get out of the way, man! You know what? Get in your jail cell! Get in there! Now lock the door and stay in there! That was difficult, but another prisoner captured. Ooh, this witch might be a little bit tricky too, because she's gonna poison me the whole time. But it's okay, because I got netherite armor. And just like the rest, she walked right in. Now I gotta zig and then zag past her and lock her up. This was originally gonna be an Enderman cell, but then I realized he could just teleport out. So I'm gonna have to do something different for the Enderman. So I went ahead and built this awesome cherry blossom area with a special cell that was gonna be just for the warden. I wanted to make it look super cool and special because the warden's a boss. And the plan to capture him was actually going to be pretty simple. I was going to use these Skulk Shriekers and activate them so he would just spawn right inside the jail cell and already be locked up. But what I forgot to realize is that the Warden only spawns in the deep dark biome, so it wouldn't activate and spawn him right here. And since I already have this really cool jail cell built, I'll use it for the Enderman, because he's kind of a special mob too. And I have to do it in a way that won't allow him to teleport out. So I decided I'm going to use one of these cool new awesome bamboo rafts and get him stuck in there. That way he won't be able to teleport ever again. He's too tall to fit though so I got to get rid of these bars and then I can try and get him in there. Come on, get in the boat, get stuck in, there you go, get in that boat. Now I just got to close up these bars and he'll be stuck forever. Oh yeah, he's pissed. He's so mad he's shaking. Alright, this is probably a really bad idea, but I'm gonna spawn a warden here in the deep dark biome and try to get him to follow me all the way home. And if I'm being honest, this is the first time I've ever gotten near a warden, so I don't have any clue what to expect on how he fights or what's gonna happen. Dang! He just took half my life in one hit! Oh my god, I, Oh, okay. Yeah, he's way too strong. Alright, there's no way I'm gonna capture the warden, so let's see if I can at least contain the ender dragon. I built a bunch of bars where she spawns here in the end. So let's see if I can spawn her out and then lure her in here and then I can lock her down. All right, I got her to fly down in here. Now I just gotta close in the gaps of iron and get her to be locked in tight so she can't escape. 
Oh, it won't let me fill because she's right there. All right, just try and fill it in as fast as I can. No, I fell through, and I died, really? Okay, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to capture the bosses, but I did capture a lot of mobs. So let's go cash in our bounties and see how much money we made. Hey, villager, I captured all those monsters for you guys, so now I'm here to collect my payment. Payment? <laughs> we were only kidding, we don't have any money. Are you serious? You mean I did all that work for nothing? Where's my money? No money, sorry. That's it, I knew you guys were lying. I'm gonna punish every single villager in this village. Especially you, Mr. Farmer. You're the one that gave me the bounty in the first place. I should have known never to trust a farmer. And I'm going to kill your iron golem and take the iron for myself since you didn't pay me. Take that. And that. And another arrow. And another. And you take an arrow too. And just because you're a kid doesn't mean I'm not going to get you too. Alright, I got my revenge on the villagers because they didn't pay me. But it was pretty cool to collect all those monsters and make them my prisoners. But the lesson today here is never trust a villager. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video!